Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of The Fishing Teacher and really appreciate you guys uh, swinging by and checking today's video out. Always grateful for that. And guys, today we're gonna have a conversation on the topic of whether or not a bass or any fish sleeps out there. Um, I think that a lot of people are curious about that. I'm gonna give you guys my opinion on what I know about that and it uh, might be a good topic for today's video. Also guys, before we get started, just wanna remind you, we just got another one, one more week left in our uh, December sale on my Solar Bat Series RB2 and RB3 Series sunglasses. If you guys would like to get you a pair, you can get them at 50% off during the month of December. And I'll put the uh, Solar Bat uh, link in the description if you guys would like to order a pair, be a good Christmas present. So much appreciated there. <coughs> okay guys, the fish sleep. Um, from everything that I have studied about bass and seen about bass and read about bass and fish in general, no, they do not sleep in the terms of what we think like mammals do, you know, where you actually go to sleep, but they do rest. And what happens is when a bass rests or it's equivalent to the sleep for them, um, their metabolisms are greatly reduced, they become inactive and they do different things. Sometimes they will just sit on the bottom like they put their bellies on the bottom. Sometimes they'll sort of be in a state of suspended animation and just like suspend and not move around much. And sometimes, and I've even seen them do this, they will sort of wedge themselves or position themselves against the cover where they don't float or you know sink down. It's like <clears throat> they'll put themselves up against a limb or something like that. And they just have an ability to reduce their metabolism. It's sort of like another one of those evolutionary adaptive features that all creatures have. And that's what a bass has done. Obviously for a bass, it's probably a good idea that for, for them not to go to sleep because there's so many predators out there that uh, you know they need to stay alert to some extent. So um, it's hard to say. I mean, we can't really get into a fish's mind to know you know, exactly the state that they are in when they are inactive or resting, you know, equivalent to what we call sleep. But um, every study that I've ever read, they do not sleep in terms of like, you know, dreaming and all that type of stuff. And it's sort of like another one of those things. It's like, you know, fish are such fascinating creatures. I mean, they, they have our masters at adapting to their environment and they have a harsh environment to live for, live in guys, because in order for like a bass, for example, to get to be three or four pounds, do you have any idea how many obstacles that they have to overcome to actually live that long to get that big? Because they're, most of them get eight as soon as they're hatched out. You know, bluegills will get them. You know, they're, they're preyed upon by crawdads and turtles and whatever. You know, when they get smaller, they're prime target for other fish. I mean, every predatory fish in a lake will eat a bass when it's that big, a little small bass, and all the way up until they get a couple pounds. I mean, I've seen eight and 10 pound bass try to actually eat two and three pound bass. So a bass is, in order for them to survive to the point till they get, you know, a large size out there, it's a tremendous accomplishment for a fish to do that. But anyway, guys, that's just a quick video today. I just wanted to address that out there because I have had that question before and it's sort of a question that I ask myself too, but no, they don't sleep in normal terms, but they do become inactive, reduce their metabolism, and they do rest out there to recuperate. So hope you guys are doing good. We'll talk later. See you. 